this is so bloody dark in this stupid movie. I mean, come on. Somebody turn on the lights. Oh, thank God somebody listened to me. Never mind, turn them back off. No, wait a minute, no, I need more screen time. Safe. You're just jealous of my fabulous looks. Hey, Rangers, welcome to Super Important Views. My name's Steve. My name is Arnaz. And today we'll be going over the Yesterday's Monster Arts Alien vs. Predator Technically Requiem? It's, it doesn't say it on the boxes. So I'm confused. But Wait, wait. I thought they were from Requiem. It is, because it's the Wolf Predator, right? Okay. But but that one just says AVP, but it's the Warrior. But yeah. they're kind of the same alien, so I'm just going to go with Requiem. Of the Alien Warrior and Predator Wolf, the standard version, not the Heavy Arms version. Just so you know, we dug our own grave with this sentence saying that it's right. Somebody's going to like be like, oh my god, no it's not, it's this. It's time to clear a drone alien. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't eat our face. Uh, as you can see, they're not currently in the packages because we, we did an unboxing. You could probably find a card or something of us unpackaging these. But these were sent to us by our good friend Matt to let us review them. And then, then we got to strip them back. I don't Thank wanna. you, Matt. Do we You're have awesome. to? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm not that horrible of a person. <laughs> he'll get his question. he'll get his toys back, all right? Uh, but anyways, as we said, we, these are from the fil film Alien vs. Predator Requiem, which is... I think people crap on that movie more than it really deserves. Granted, it does have some problems. I understand. Like, I've I, never seen I, any I completely understand. Movie. <laughs> oh, just that the movie's too dark. The nope. human acting, all of it is hot garbage and uh they were trying to be more realistic but not putting lights during the movie so that's why it's dark because it's taped at night time <laughs> we couldn't put it in the budget yeah <laughs> we didn't spend super like the best thing about this movie is the suits are fantastic and pretty much anything with alien and predator is awesome mm -hmm. humans oh god yeah because uh, it's kind of the problem with those films is like alien versus predator is essentially tomb raider if we had alien and predators in it right mm -hmm. and then Requiem is essentially a Predator movie with aliens in it. So now we need the alien movie of Predators in it. I feel like that's just what I've been wanting my entire life as an alien movie of Predators in it. You know how human storyline of Alien vs. Predator should have died? All the people should have just went to the circle and got bombed and then Alien should have fought the Predator somewhere else. Or the, the entire movie they could have just fought the Predator. Right? Yeah. Like we've had movies, now, especially now, of just... Like a quiet place, so there's barely any freaking talking. You have Wally. Full of a gun. Like we we could just have a predator movie, right? With like him hunting aliens. We he doesn't need the talk. There could be subtitles. So then it's just like watching an anime. Like, come on, Fox, Fox for Disney, Disney now. All right, Whatever. we're just, anyways. Matter. We're just gonna get into this. So for the packaging, uh, pretty typical monster arts fair. You have the predator, wolf, alien warrior on the sides. With parts of the creatures. We have the dreadlocks, the arm. I think that's the tail there. It with looks the like alien, the tail. Yeah, with the alien predator on the bottom. Got some blood splatter on the top. When the heck was the predator blood blue? Uh, it could be that goose stuff from the movie. Another clue that it's from that movie. Oh, actually, yeah, actually, you kind of got me there. Uh, size of the package. Uh, not too much going on. Other sides, you get a shot of the creatures in the packaging. Back of the package just shows you all the stuff they come with. All of their posing stuff. So a bunch of stuff I can't understand. Some legal mumbo jumbo on the bottom. Ooh, these are blue fins. Is this one a blue fin? Oh, this one's not a blue fin. Oh, this oh. one's legitly an import. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's... Since they're already opened up out of their cardboard prisons, let's just get into them. Alright, so now that we got them opened up out of their cardboard prisons, first and foremost, want to go over, uh, well, at least the alien's accessories, starting with its stand, which you get this fancy alien warrior stand with some green splotches on the bottom done in a black. Uh, you get the little arm here so that you can wrap it around his waist to keep it upright, which is actually pretty handy. Uh, you also are going to need this for articulating the tail if you want so like there you go you got your tail up right because of the ball joints uh yeah we'll get to that but uh you can also with these stands in case you wanted to like pig it on the side for reasons you can and then you just pop out the little plastic pegs on the bottom here 
you just reinsert them into the other sections. So pretty cool it comes with this. Uh, sadly, the Predator doesn't get a stand. Doesn't really need it. Uh, the Alien definitely needs a little bit more so. Though I kind of wish it maybe would have had one extra little arm just for the tail. Uh, but outside of that, uh, it works. Comes with this little egg for reasons. It's, a, it's an alien egg. <laughs> you need it. Yeah, like AVP though, you needed the alien egg when the the, the pred alien was running around pregnant and everything. Yeah. Sure. My dog snoring in the background if you guys hear that. Not much I can do about it. But detailed pretty nicely. Got the pink on the top here for where it separates. Uh, other than that, nothing too much else. You get some wrinkling on the side here. Looks cool. Like, I, I can't really complain about getting more eggs. You also get the little chest burster, which isn't quite as good looking as you get with some of the NECAs. Which is odd. Like, here's the Monster Arts one. Here's a NECA one. Like, the NECA one just has more detailing. Damn, it kind of hurts me to say that, right? Go NECA. Like, just looking at the bodies, like... 10 out of 10, comparably. Also has a bendy... Oh, actually, no, it doesn't have a bendy wire. Could have sworn that had a bendy wire when we were messing with it. It's kind of lame did. now. This one's way better. And then for the alien's hands, comes with these clenched hands out of the package. Also comes with a pair of outstretched hands. And another pair of outstretched hands. Well, that's a lie. This one has a little bit more of a hook to it. And because I screwed up last time, this one's super outstretched. So you get, like, slightly hooked outstretch, outstretched. I'm confused, also. He has way too many hands. Yeah, like, couldn't you just put a hinge there? Like, <laughs> would have solved the same issues when I had to have two hands then. Like, like a NECA. Anyways, uh, for its closer details. Head sculpt looks fantastic. Like, the one thing I will say about this is the detailing on this thing is phenomenal. In terms of the sculpt, like, you even see it has the translucent dome... A lot of detailing on the under section of the dome there. Looks great. You can even kind of see like the front of the lobe of the alien underneath. Really cool. No, they really put a lot of details into the figure. Like you can tell it's an SH. Yeah, like I would almost say that this is slightly better detailed than a NECA. Yeah. Even though for being a smaller scale, like there's a little bit more going on with the mold here. Like, you can even see for the ribs down here, look fantastic as well. I do like the way the mouth's set up with the little metallic silver there for the teeth. Got the little mini mouth there, which I think is triggered by this thing back here. I that's how that might be just a joint. <laughs> I thought there was maybe a little trigger so you could get it like the head back up a little bit. How do I get that little mouth out? So I could have sworn you like you put the head up and then you're like push down, but it ain't doing what I want. We've got the mouth working. It was jammed in there, so now he barfs. <laughs> I chew. Remember him, him having a sneeze and just like, oh, I feel so good. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, little mini mouth is pretty cool looking. It's got a lot of details. It's got a lot of detailing for how small it is. You get a little bit of metallic silver there for the mouth. Uh, just a bit of a butt to get in there. But now that it's loose, now it's super loose. <laughs> but. Still, like, when you want to have, like, the mouth closed, you want it in, it still holds pretty well. Actually, now I feel like it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> got it good. I don't know. Maybe it was just, like, some excess paint or something kind of got lodged in there. But what's cool, too, is, like, for the articulation, like, you can see back here, like, this moves. If I get my nail in there. So you can pose the head a little bit better. Plus, you like... You a walking pose on all four. Yeah. And you can... Get the mini mouth in there. And then this section here moves a little bit as well. So you get a lot more play with it for the articulation. And they also got the breathing tubes on the back here. Which kind of look like octopus, te octopus tentacles. Look really nice. You can see the spinal column coming on the back of the armor plating for the Xeno. And then whatever those, those are called. Like the... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the the section around the hips. Yeah, well, it's kind of personified on this guy a little bit because it's a lot more smaller joints. Yeah. That's the only kind of issue is because it's all ball joints, he doesn't get as much articulation out of certain sections. But on the front here, you get a little bit of color variety in the overall gray and black coloring for the Xeno. 
with a little bit more. I do like the coloring on him for sure. It's like a bronze. Yeah. On the front section of the stomach, coming down to his lower waist, which looks looks like he's starving, dude. They gotta feed this poor alien. Yeah, well, the aliens this is like the Xenos are always kind of thin. Well, Big Chap's a little bit more stocky, but like most of the other guys, like they got some pretty anorexic people to go inside those suits. But moving down the rest of the leg, you get the giant crest here. You could never play those. That's for hell no. <laughs> <laughs> Around the top of the leg, you get some what kind of looks like little membranes on the sides of the legs here. We feel as humans and as aliens, Steve. And it's true. I can't be an alien. It makes my life hard. Got the calf on the back here. Feet look cool. Also articulated individual toes, oh. which is pretty cool. Uh, like even these ones. Got a little bit of a wiggle to them, which is cool to see. Arms look pretty nice as well. Uh, pretty standard stuff. Like it's it's very humanoid, but right where you get to the hands, which always is kind of weird that these guys have like straight up four fingers, while like most of the other Xenos are kind of like yeah. connected hands. Like they got a bunch of fingers, but they're all like interconnected, and then it makes the hand, which I always thought was really cool. Like these guys are a little bit more like I don't know standard fare. But yeah, still look great. Uh, for the articulation now, like this is the interesting part. Like for the tail here, which fell on the floor. Uh, just like most monster arts, these are all individual ball joints. Which is not a good idea for a tail that big. Yeah, like it's a cool concept. And this is where I feel like you would use the stand more or less as to help articulate the tail because of the weight. Like that ain't hold nothing. And there's not really a good way to do this. Like, I don't even think, like, nail polish or, like, pledge would help solve this problem. It's a nice-looking tail, though. Like, I like how phrase at the tip. You get the nice little spear at the end. Like, it looks cool, but in practice, not so much. Uh, so you get some nice whipping action for it. You can rotate. But So there's a lot of play, but, yeah. To be fair, it's probably more frustrating to say the least. No, it's like bendy wires I get a little worried about playing with too much. Like, I could play with this as much as I want and not really have a care in the world. But at least, like, the bendy wire isn't going anywhere until it breaks. Yeah, that's a bad thing. Once it breaks, you're kind of after an EA. But then again, like, out of all my aliens, like, I've never had one do that. So, props to them. But just, like, toys over the years, I've had stuff. So, that's why, that's why we bring it up mainly. Uh, but for the head, can look... Up about that far. Hey, down about that far. So not too much down, but you get a lot crazy back. A little bit of side to side motion. The wiggles. A little bit of rotation there as well. All these are on ball joints, so you can rotate the tubes. Which is the weird thing, right? Like, why are these articulated? Like why they, not? Because they don't move in the movie. They might, you don't know. I'm pretty sure I watched it. No, you didn't. <laughs> Some might say I have it, but I feel like I have. I think you're hallucinating. Decent forward and back. I like too that like the ri since the ribs aren't connected, that like this all shifts individually and it looks kind of cool. It looks creepy. It's not look cool. It's creepy, man. Right, because that's like a separate section. So also when you're articulating, you gotta worry about that popping out as it just did. But it looks nice. A little bit of a wiggle as well. Rotation at the bottom. It's a lot of play at the stomach. Arms can go up by that far, down by that far. Rotation? Does this arm let me do it? All the way around. Eh, that kind of looks like, yeah, it's just a single joint at the elbow. Get a rotation. Rotation at the hand. Can go forward and back. Not much of a wiggle though. Legs go outward about that far. Inwards about that far. Really nice forward kick. You can also shift the joint forward and back, kind of like on the Ultraman figures. A little bit of wiggle there as well. Double jointed knees. It's a lot of bend there. A little bit of rotation. Feet can rotate side to side. Nice forward and back. And again, each of these toes are individually articulated. For the Predator next, we're going to go over his accessories, starting with his head sculpt, which for the head, pretty freaking gnarly. Uh, you get a little bit of what kind of looks like a fracturing going on the top of the Predator crest there with some little spikes there on the side of the helmet. Eyes look cool. A little bit of more off-colored gray with that really, eh, more like gunmetal gray for the side of the mask. You can see a little bit of the Predator skin 
with the dreadlocks in the back with that very predominant gold locking here on the dreadlocks there. Really nice looking sculpt. And then for its other head, for the helmetless face, you get his three little tusks because he has the one broken. He also looks like he's blind in one eye, which is something I never really paid attention to in the film, but it's cool to see on the figure there because you can see it's a little bit gray there. Oh, the other eye has a little bit more paint variety to it. And then he's got some more hard spiky protrusions from around the top of his dome. Looks really nice. Gives him a really gnarly look to him. You can see the teeth are painted pretty decently. Not the craziest paint job. Like, this is where, like, I feel like the NECA's exceed in the Predator faces. Granted, a lot of the Predator faces you get are mostly the same looking, but I think a lot of it has to do with them just being a larger scale figure. It's easier to get more of the molding in. So between the two, I'm more of a fan of the helmet look. Well, actually, to be fair, if it was a NECA, I'd still probably be more into the helmet look. But without the helmets, I feel like they pull off the job a little bit better. So grabbing the thing here, uh, I guess I consider this kind of an accessory, which is plasma cannon. It moves. It, 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 yeah. Like it hooks on the back. I'm not a big fan of this one, to be fair. Like it moves the a little forward to back. The, the the cannon per se, because uh, it rotates a little bit. But to me, I don't know. It's kind of. I guess it's the same issue I have with the neck as the wall a little bit. But it's just like articulating this thing scares me a bit, just because of how thin it is. As you can see, so for the most part, I keep this one retracted just in case he decides to tank backwards or something. But still, like, detailed really nice. I like the metallic silver. Like, maybe could add a little bit more detail on the top section there. But still pretty nice. Then he also has this, which kind of looks like a shovel hey, on the back here. Don't judge a shovel. Uh, but that claps into here. So you get that hanging off his back now as well. He also comes with the little canister to inject things with. I have that upside down. <laughs> But looks pretty cool. Got the little needle on the front, some copper there on the top section of the handle. So you can have your predator investigating. Comes with a retracted whip, which I wish they would have used that more in those movies. Man, that thing was amazing. Yeah, this thing was pretty gnarly. And it's cool. You can actually have this uh hanging off him as well. I think that actually pegs in right here. Jeez, oh so you get that. It's nice that like if you want to just have like your predator just kind of load it up. You have that option with this guy. He also comes with this magical plot vial. Where if you don't want it a part of your movie, he can get rid of it. God, why didn't he get rid of all the people? I know, right? Comes with his little claws. Which he already has a pair in. But these are the extended claws. Yes. I had to think for a second. So just like a NECA, you have to actually swap these out. Which is... Yeah, a little easier said than done. Thank God I got some nails. God, those don't want to come out. Oh, laugh when Steve rips his nails off when those. I'm waiting for it, right? At least my nails are pretty sturdy. Uh, God, I hate trying to put these things in. So you got to go in a little bit at an angle. Yeah. Because you can see it's got a little bit of a curve to it. But once you get it in. Definitely not the most imposing looking of the claws. Like, it, this ain't no uh, original AVP. Like, this has nothing on the Celtic. No. But it, he does look cool, though, with all the accessories on him. Yeah, which we're not, we're not even done yet. He also comes with a fully extended whip, which isn't a bendy wire, which is fine, but still looks nice. Looks Got all weird. the little serrated edges for this whip. I never quite understood how this works like a sword. Like, I, I get it, but <laughs> you think this would, like, have more uh, issues than anything else. And it has, like, the little... It almost looks like an alien tail. It is an alien tail. Because it even has, like, the little point at the end, like one. I also like how ornate the handle is with that little bit of blue on the end. Like, it's got some gems. Like, he's got some bling bling for his whippy weapon. Looks like they literally just cut off an alien tail and put it on that thing. Yeah, just put it on, like, what kind of looks like a little shoe. It's kind of like a cowboy boot with a little hook on the top. You also get the spear, which is done in a copper with some metallic silver there and some dark gray for the blade section. And it also comes with a retracted version as well, which I'm pretty sure hooks back on this guy too. And there goes his knee pad. 
Uh, right there. So, so now you can put the open one in his hands, and then this guy will really be ready. But you can't have the open and closed one. That makes no sense. Yeah, it does. He's so now you have that good. all he the weapons. All the so he's got to have the whip on the hip. He's got to have the holding the whip, and then he's yeah. got to have the spear on the other hand. Like, how is he going to stand? He doesn't need to. His accessories make him. Yes. He just uses, a, he uses the spear as a crutch just to help <laughs> keep him going along. Yeah, me and him get along just fine. Nah, I think I'm going to be slightly lazy with the hand accessories because he comes with quite a bit, so I don't really want to pop them all in. But he does come with a pair of clenched fists, which is weird that one of these has a metal plate covering over top of his hand and the other one doesn't. I was going to ask about that. Well, you don't really need, like, protection over the hand when you got the blades, I guess. But, but, it, but it, it just, it looks cooler, though. And he comes with a pair of open hands. Two variations of gripping hands for both the right and the left. Actually, I lied. He technically has three. Stop lying to us, Steve. God. It's all I know. And then moving into a closer look at the rest of the detailing is pretty freaking gnarly. You get some little skulls of some animals that have no idea what they are. One kind of looks like a little dinosaur. That one looks like a ghost. He killed that a ghost. That one kind of looks like a spaceship. <laughs> so I'm not sure. Uh, I wish they dangled maybe a little bit farther. Like they're pretty constrained around his neck for the most part, but still look nice. You have the little harness going around his chest, which, yes, you can also have him holding the little vial thing right here. Jeez, oh geez. So, so that hooks in right there, so you're good to go there with your predator. Uh, the body's not too bad. Like, to me, that's where this kind of feels a little lackluster, is where, like, the skin. To me, it doesn't look quite as cool as it usually does with, like, say, a NECA. Like, he doesn't, like, the, the freckles aren't conveying as nearly as nicely on this guy. But still, enough muscle definition to... Uh, Help sell this figure. He's got like a little scar going on the top of his chest or his shoulder here. Uh, biceps look pretty nice as well. Gauntlet looks cool. Get some gray there with some dark gum metal for the top section of the gauntlet. While on the other side, we have his communicator, which does open up. Looks pretty cool. I might have liked to have seen like some things going on when you have it open it. Because for the most part, if you're going to have it like displayed and you're going to have them having this thing out you kind of want something going on with it so for me like that's not really an option anymore since they didn't want to add anything to it so that's more or less going to stay closed forever uh, for his little belt garment thing well he actually has underwear so Let's that's see. cool yeah see so he's got some protection underneath Stay his uh, his loincloth uh with a little bit of metal plating on the front section it's got some Thigh armor, some knee pads, some, uh, I don't know what to call those, like calf guards, shin guards. It's got some little spiky protrusions on the back of his calf. Same on his feet, got some claws sticking out of there. His toes look kind of boring. <laughs> yeah, they look boring. Yeah, well, it's just like, I don't know, they don't look like toes. It looks like kitty paws. With some metal over top of it, like some claws over top of it on the the boots. Which to me is more, it's like a very AV, like first AVP thing. Which these were there for, um, like they ice had, climbing. yeah, ice climbing. Because they're like ice clim climate predators. Like, was he? Or is that just like for show, like he's going to kick something really hard with his kitty claws. That would be awesome. And then you got some, not much on the bottom of his feet, but you do get some. B China 2237823 action as well. Uh, for his articulation, head up about, eh, about that far, down about that far, a little bit of a wiggle, but the just Air. like most every other predator you mess with, the dreads get in the way of most everything. Shoulders, this side's a little bit hard because this is on a ball joint here for the armor plating, and this one likes to pop off a lot, but you can't articulate it up by itself. And then it gives you a little bit more range of motion for the arms, but they can go upwards about that far, downwards about that far, forward, back. Nice little wiggle to it. Decent <laughs> bend at the elbow. It's actually on a, looks like a double joint. What, what fell down, Steve? I don't know. Did something fall down? Yeah. 
Oh, in one of his hands. Oh, okay. I was going to say, it looks like everything's attached to the Predator currently. Uh, for his chest, go side to side. Decent forward and back. Actually, pretty nice forward oh, and back. Yeah. I got to say, he's got a. He can arch his back pretty well. Oh, yeah. Oh, forgot to mention his hands can go backwards all the way around. Forgot to mention for his hands can rotate all the way around. A little bit of forward and back there. Legs. All right. One leg can split pretty far. And there we go. Can also shift those bad boys up and down, just like you see with some of the Ultra Axe figures. Can wiggle forward and back. Double jointed knee. No real rotation there. And for the feet, don't feel like they can rotate. Like a little bit of action there, but nothing too crazy. And the feet can, like the toe section, is separated. So it feels like that should move. But I'm not really getting too much play with that. Why do you want to play with his toes, Steve? That's disturbing. Well, yeah, I got to make sure he stands. He didn't come with a stand, so he has to be able to stand, man. What do you want from me? For you not to play with his toes, it's disturbing. <sighs> He's the predator. You're not the predator. And for score comparisons here, we have the SH Monster Arts, Wolf Predator, and the Warrior Alien compared next to some NECA versions of them with the original release, Unmasked Wolf Predator, and the Alien vs. Predator Warrior Alien. Hey, here they are next to some more NECA Alien figures with the Scorpion Alien and the Snake Alien from the Kenner Tribute line. Hey, here they are with some SH Monsters figures from some previous reviews that are still handing out in my office with the Shin Godzilla and the Peter Jackson Kong. Hey, here they are next to some more smaller Alien figures in my collection with the SH Monster Arts Big Chap and an original Kenner Alien figure from the Alien vs. Predator 2-pack. And here they are with some more favorite Alien vs. Predator figures in my collection with the McFarlane Queen and the NECA Mascard Predator. So overall for the Asus Monster Arts, Warrior Alien, and Wolf Predator, I guess the big question is, is these worth picking up over a NECA? Now, for the Warrior Alien, no. I just buy the NECA, I feel. Um, to be fair, I think the AVP ones are probably going to cost you just as much nowadays. Yeah, the thing is, though, like the NECA AVP ones went up so much in price that are competing with the SH Monster Art price now. But for me, like in terms of like the scaling and the size and the detailing, I still would recommend picking them up over the Monster Arts. Like they don't pop apart as easy. I Granted, the tail has bendy wires, but I still prefer that over the bajillion ball joints that don't do anything. Well, the thing, like, ball joints was a nice idea if it can stand up. Yeah, like, if it could still pose with them. Yeah. And it's like, it only comes with one stand. You kind of need the stand to hold it, but you want to stand to hold the tail up so it looks cool instead of just flopping over. So, the NECA has a lot less headaches. Now, if you can get it, like, fairly cheap... I would still, like, it's still a cool Monster Arts figure. Don't get me wrong. That if you really like Aliens, like, I still would recommend getting it. Well, the thing is, I want at least one SH Monster Art Alien or Predator in my collection. And I think I would rather prefer to have the Predator. Yeah, for me, the Predator is probably the better debate. Be but after this, since we reviewed it, if I do get it, I'm not going to open it, though, now. That's the thing, you know. Yeah, well, it's just like a lot of stuff likes to pop off. Of yeah, them pretty easy. Just like, but that's like a just a ball joint problem. To period, like any figure with a lot of ball joints, you're gonna have some issue. Uh, but what's cool is he comes with a crap ton of stuff, and the uh, the articulation is pretty nice on this ball. He's a nicely detailed figure, not quite as like up to par with I would say like the NECA ones nowadays, but compared to the original release which is all we have for Wolf Predator from NECA, I feel like this guy's on, like, detail-wise, probably a little lackluster, but compared to it, but, like, articulation of what it comes with, far and above and beyond that figure. So, and then, like, there's not a new one, which there's supposed to be one coming out this year, and at that point, I would say just buy that one, skip this one. Yeah. But until that happens, I it, feel like this one's probably the best one to get. Yeah, this is your option right here. It's yeah. a good option. Yeah, it's like this or the Hot Toys, which, oh, <laughs> you want to spend some money. 
So if we had to recommend one of these two, I would definitely recommend the Predator over the Alien. But if you guys are a fan of Monster Arts, these are still a pretty neat little addition to your collection. But what do you guys think? If you guys picked up these figures, what did you guys think of Alien versus Predator? Or as Mezco just more think, please let us know in the comments. We'll close the these guys up on our Facebook. You want to click the link in the description below. We also have a Patreon account, exclusive prints for the channel, and also a t-shirt shop. You guys like to help support the channel. Also down in the description. And help us defeat those characters by hitting that like button, subscribe, and come to your day. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.